It's a beautiful bacon day, Cookie Crusaders. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about apple jelly toppings. Now, you might have seen a video I've done before about this, but I wanted to hone in on it even further and give you some team example to go along with the discussion of what the toppings are and what they do. So that way you get to see a little bit more in depth of how I understand and use them and hopefully how you can too. Now, the team that I'm running here, they are all using apple jelly toppings. Now, to detail them, I've got damage resistance focus and defense focus on Crunchy Chip. He already does an amazing attack. So I just wanted to give him a lot of beef. I put a lot of good focus into the damage resistance and the overall uh, critical resistance on Dark Cow. Yet again, tank, beefy setup. With Karma Arrow, it was more of a attack speed focus. And then I want more damage resist, but that was the main focus was that attack speed. With Poison Mushroom, huge damage resistance focus, but also attack focus too. And then with Cream Puff, it was actually mostly a cooldown focus and attack focus, but I didn't get very lucky with her stats just yet, but that is the focus of what I was going for for her, so that way she could be the most optimal healer possible too. Now if you look here, all of them have certain percentage of critical, which are higher because of the monument we have, so about, let's see, 47 minus 65, so about 13%, no, 18% of the critical bonus buff is coming from our monument. And then we have the scythe, which is giving another 29.3. So for most of these cookies, they're going to be hitting the 100% mark with the critical damage. Now why that's important is, A, it means they're going to be healing better, attacking better, dealing damage better. Just overall, their inherent skills will be striking a lot harder than the traditional cookie. Now, another reason for that, which I will show after the battles, will be the monuments and the lab upgrades that I've done. So we're gonna take it into a couple battles. We've got this person here who has three level 70s, similar to what we do, and two level 60s. So fair on levels, we have way more power now here's why critical toppings make their power level much much higher than your traditional setup so if you look here 341,000 power 275,000 206,000 235 146 so it really scales them up in a large way and that's because of the potential damage that they have to do and now as far as the setup for the toppings we also did the treasures of scroll scythe and horn we just want extra defense because we do only have one healer and this is not your traditional meta team that would sustain itself against hard fights so we put it in a semi defensive pseudo setup and that is how we're running it so let's give it a shot for the first battle and as you can see our skills are going to fire as normal, and the health bar just absolutely super depletes very quickly. And we can show the stats after the battle is done, so you can see how everyone's performance handles. Now the main thing to understand here is that the critical toppings, the higher the percentage there, the higher percent chance you have to hit a critical hit. Now with the critical resistance that some cookies have, that just lowers the actual damage itself, not the chance of you hitting the critical hit. And as you can see here, within 38 seconds, everyone did over a million damage. So everyone handled quite well in the battle. Where on their team, their Frost Queen and their Strawberry Crepe just weren't able to sustain and battle it out with us. Healing, 
we did almost two million. And that's partially because of Cream Puff's skill. But in addition, Critical heals higher amounts than traditional Searing. The only thing that can outpace it is if you have a really strong cooldown, which means you just get that skill activation more often. And so let's go ahead and take it against another team. So we will try. Uh, let's go with this person here. So this person has no level 70s, but also only one level 60, because everyone else is relatively leveled up. And they've got a little bit more power. They've also got an insignia. So that means that every time I kill some cookie of theirs, they get a little bit of healing to the rest of their team. So let's see how this fares out. And their team is a meta team, so it should do pretty well. And they do good good damage against us. That is 100%, and thanks to their insignia, they are able to take out Mushroom, because Mushroom is our squishiest. But nonetheless, our damage pushes and persists through. Only 27 seconds for battle that time. Still really great results from everybody. Dark Cacao and Caramel Arrow taking the big lead since they have really big damage pools that they can pull very quickly. But nonetheless, everyone did a really good job. And so what I like most about this is you can scale this up to pretty good proportions. So if we go here to the first monument, the Chocolate Altar of the Fallen. If you get that to level 20 max, all cookies will deal a extra 20% critical damage. So that's 20% more damage than your traditional regular damage. In addition, if we go into the cookie side down here, all cookies crit damage bonus. I only have a level 8 right now, which is 18%. But if you get it up to the max point, you get another 20%. So you can have a 40% attack bonus on your critical damage, just from the monument and the labs. And that's why a lot of the videos I show you guys, I explain that if you're not having those two specific things upgraded, then running critical toppings on some of these cookies can be pretty tough. But I have started building them up. I have started saving them up. If I go into the toppings, just into my apple jellies, you can see these are what I've been working on. These are the pool that I'm still going to get. And these are the ones that I'm attempting or testing them on to see how they're running. And they've done a really good job. I would say if anyone has a bunch of searing toppings, start building some apple jellies up. If you're in the late game and you are maybe struggling behind in PvP or you're struggling in um, story mode, start building these up. It takes time because getting the stats that you want to be on the cookies that you want, it's going to take time. I mean, it took me about two months just to get a really good set here for Dark Cacao to have that high damage resistance, high critical percentage, high damage. And this is still not even the perfect set that I would want. So it, it will take time, as all toppings do, of course. So I highly, highly recommend start building them up because they're going to be helpful. They're going to be important the further the game goes in. Even if you can't make a full team with critical toppings right now, just start building towards it. It will be very beneficial in a lot of ways. And the more critical-focused skills and critical-focused cookies we get, the more impactful and the more powerful these things will be too. And so I would love to hear your feedback and your opinion. Maybe you don't want to touch any other toppings than the three that everyone talks about. Maybe you're just unsure that it will be beneficial to you for some reason, and I would like to know that reason. Either way, I would love to hear any of your feedback that you have. But apple jellies are the main thing I go for and try to produce now. You can see in my inventory I have searing, but almost the same amount, if not just a little bit less. At least that what's been produced or what will be equipped accordingly. And that's because I really have faith in the power of apple jelly toppings, but that is because I have the lab upgrades and that monument. If you do not have that, build those toppings so that when you do get that, you can be in a better position to run them. Thank you so much for watching, and I really appreciate it. 
I hope you all have a wonderful day.